again, it's Diana from Celix. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any optimization tips. All right, so now that you've researched keywords for your campaigns, it's actually time to set up your campaign. Woo! Based on my experience from speaking to many sellers on a daily, I know that you have a lot on your plate and you don't always have time to spend all day setting up and optimizing your PPC campaigns. So we've designed a strategy for you that is effective yet simple and easy to implement. All right, let's get right into Seller Central and set this up. We're going to create two different campaigns for each ASIN, an auto campaign and a manual campaign with two ad groups one for broad match keywords and one for exact match keywords. Each of these campaigns and ad groups serve a different purpose. Let's start with the automatic campaign. This campaign has the goal to find new keywords that we didn't think of before. If we find keywords that convert well here, we can transfer them to our manual campaign to optimize their bids. To create and make changes to your campaigns, we recommend using Celix, as all changes will be recorded in a change log that you can later use to further analyze the success of your PPC strategy. With Celix, you can also automate your campaigns so that you don't have to make changes manually on the daily. But if you don't have Celix yet, then just go into the campaign manager in Seller Central. First, we'll set a campaign budget of 10 euros, which will serve as a safety net. For the default bid, we'll set one euro. If you wanna be more accurate from the start and calculate your default bid, you can download the formula by clicking on the link in the description. Keep in mind that it will vary depending on what goal you set in the beginning. We will also add the keywords we've researched before as phrase match negatives in order to exclude them. This is because we don't want to bid on the same keywords in different campaigns. The automatic campaign will now find the search terms that the Amazon algorithm thinks will match well with your product. Also, have you ever wondered why there are search terms that are actually ASINs? That's because with an auto campaign, your ads will show up on the product detail page of competitors or related products. The ASIN indicates which product detail pages your ad showed up on. Next, we will create a manual campaign for the same ASIN and add an ad group with broad match keywords. Now we'll enter all of the keywords we have researched before. Again, we will enter the same keywords as negatives, but make sure to select exact match. This is because we don't want the same search terms to show up in both ad groups. Now the broad match ad group will show our ads for a wide range of search terms, which saves a lot of optimization effort. Later, if we find some valuable search terms, we'll move them as keywords to the exact match ad group in order to adjust CPCs more accurately. Also, we can enter the default bids we calculated before. Lastly, we'll do an exact match ad group. Here we want to enter the keywords we researched with the most search volume in order to keep optimization efforts low later on, as we don't want too many keywords in there because we'll need to optimize the bids for every single one. Don't forget, we're setting up these two campaigns for every ASIN. However, if you wanna save some time, you can also use the same campaigns for several ASINs, but make sure that the products and their margins are very similar. We recommend letting the campaigns run for a bit. Around two weeks is usually a good amount of time. At that point, you can check on them again and see where to optimize. As usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we would be happy to help out. See you in our next video all about how to optimize your campaigns. Bye.